Hello. So today we will derive the transformation equations of electric field and magnetic field under relativistic motion. So as we have already told, suppose there are two frames. One is S frame, another is S dash frame. Now with respect to S frame, this S dash frame is moving with some velocity v along the x axis, right? So if we have the field tensor here in the S frame, I am denoting it as a rho sigma, and the field tensor here in the S dash frame, it will be different. So let us denote it F nu nu tilde. So how these two tensors are related actually? So we know these two tensors are related under the Lorentz transformation, which is F of nu nu tilde is the Lorentz metric nu rho sigma f of rho sigma where this f of rho sigma is nothing but the field tensor for the s frame and f of mu nu is the field tensor for the s dash frame now see from these two tensors we can found what are the corresponding electric and magnetic field for this s dash frame relates with the s frame so let's just do it so before going to that uh, let us remember first what is the f mu nu matrix looks like. So this is how the f mu nu matrix looks like. Maybe in your notation it will be different but it doesn't matter because when you apply for the Lorentz matrix on it, it will give you the same result as here. So in my notation, the f mu nu matrix looks like this. And uh, the Lorentz boost for along x axis, it is written like this. For y axis, this one. And for the z axis, written like this one. As you can see, for x, y, and z, both the cases, the Lorentz metric isn't changing, just the row and columns are switching altogether to give you the boost in different directions. So, it's good to remember all those matrices so that you can perform the derivations by yourself. Now, let us just do the derivation. Suppose this one is my S frame and this is my S dash frame. It's going with this direction. Here, I'm denoting it as f of rho sigma my field tensor and this one is going along the x direction let us denote it as f mu nu tilde so as we have already seen the transformations equations are written like what here f mu nu tilde is equal to two Lorentz matrices mu nu rho sigma f of rho sigma so I just expand those f mu nu and lambda matrices so as you can see this one is the first lambda matrix this one is the second and this is my field tensor for the s frame now when these two lambda matrices operating on the s frame field tensor it is giving me the field tensor for the s dash frame now you can see here for s frame i have written normal ex ey ez because those values i know but we have to find out what are the uh, values in the a s dash frame which are written in e x tilde e y tilde and similarly b x b y b z tilde so by doing so we can easily found what are the relations between s dash electric field and s electric fields so we don't have to do the complete metric metric multiplication here we can easily do that by using the tensor notations which is f mu nu tilde equal to lambda mu rho mu sigma f of rho sigma this is our general formula now see here if i want to find what is the change in the suppose uh, white component of the electric field let us say i want to find what is the e y tilde so how i will find it so we know that f of if i say f of 0 2 then it is giving me f of tilde 0 2 okay so it is giving me e y tilde over c right so in place of f of mu nu i am writing here f of 0 2 that means here my mu is equal to 0 and mu is equal to 2 so in place of lambda i will written the same thing 0 rho 2 sigma f of rho sigma now see here in the lambda matrix for this one the first one here 
for the zero uh, zero uh, that means this one row on the first that means zero term and the first term is non-zero other terms are zero so we will only bother about these two terms this one and this one other terms will be automatically goes to zero so let me write it first term will be zero zero and for this one that means the second row this one here all terms are zero except this term which is in the position of two comma two so let me write it two two f of here i have written in place of rho and sigma zero and two so i will return here zero and two plus oh, so sorry i forgot so here another term also appear which is the first term this one in the first lotus metric which is zero one because this one is non-zero also lambda two two f of in place of rho sigma we have written one two so here will be one two now see what is the lambda zero zero term it is simply gamma you can see from this metric here and what is lambda two two it is just one and what is f of zero two f of zero two is nothing but this row and second element which is this one ey by c ey by c plus lambda zero one that means this row and this term which is negative lambda in gamma beta lambda 2 2 which is nothing but 1 into f of 1 2 f of 1 2 is 1 what in this row this element that means this one which is bz so if we common out the gamma by c we are left with ey minus now this beta is nothing but v by c so we can common out c from here also and it's left with v b z and this is what e y tilde over c so what we are finally getting e y tilde is equal to gamma e y minus v b z so this is our transformation equations for the white component of electric field similarly we can do the same thing for z component also let us do so for z component f mu nu tilde i have to find this one right 